Speaking of the film Arachnophobia, the man behind the spiders in that film, Steve Kutcher, was our guest in past editions of PCVN. In this edition, we're going to bring him back with some of those moments, plus some that have never before been seen. If you've ever wondered about handling spiders, this segment is for you. This is a Palomino tarantula. It's from northern Mexico. And I, I've used it because it's one of the tarantulas that tends to stay still if you want it to stay still. I've worked with a number of actresses and actors. I worked with Priscilla Presley and taught her how to handle tarantulas. And actually, if you find a person who's open and who's understanding, they can handle a tarantula fairly easily if you show them how. One of the problems you have to be concerned about, however, is that they have hairs that are called urtricating hairs, or hairs that can cause someone to itch. This spider, if it's handled carefully, will not cause much of a problem. I'd like to introduce Annette, who's going to demonstrate for us. What does it feel like? <clears throat> well, it just feels very, very, very soft, very gentle. This is Isadora. She's a Palomino from Mexico. And she doesn't move around very much. If you put her on her shoulder, what would she do? She would just stay there because she is not much of a mover. This one right here. And she has little claws on her, on her legs. And in the skin you can feel it prick a little bit. But it doesn't hurt very much. And if you cover her face right here, then she'll stop moving. They, they don't like the light that much, and so they'll look for the dark, and that's why covering is a good way to stop a tarantula. How long did you have that on yesterday? I think about two hours. And she just stayed on your shoulder? She stayed on my shoulder the whole time, yeah. In fact, yesterday was the first day that Steve actually introduced me to all the spiders. I'd never ever touched a tarantula before and didn't realize how light they are. And uh, I pictured that they would just be crawly all over. But uh, as you can see, she's very, very, pretty much immobile. This is a Chilean rose tarantula. It's found in Chile and has a rosy hair. And I found this one of the easiest ones to handle. Would you like to take her? This one will, you can get to, to climb up, but once again with the, with the lights, they like to avoid the light. They're generally active late in the afternoon, they're not out during the hotter parts of the day. Well, she's holding that one. I'd like to show you one. This is called an orange, orange knee tarantula, and it might crawl a little bit, but it'll calm down. I want to hold it in my in my hand so that you notice that when I'm handling it, I'm handling it very gently and it will eventually calm down so that I can hold it in my hand and that you can see it. Now the problem with this tarantula is that it has urtricating hairs. And so when I'm doing this later on, I, my hands will itch for two or three days because I'm handling her. But I wanted you to see what beautiful colors this spider has. It's found in the desert regions of northern Mexico. And you can see how an actor or an actress could play to something like this and say, oh, this is very frightening, but in reality, they're relatively gentle creatures. You notice that she just jumped there. And the reason she jumped is because tarantulas are very sensitive to wind. And if you blow or accidentally speak, it will cause them to run. This is um, a sporacid spider. It comes from New Zealand. It was used in the movie Arachnophobia. You can see it likes to walk. Lives underneath the bark of trees. And uh, it likes to climb up things. And I'm gonna have a net hold the paintbrush and I'm going to put it on the paintbrush and we'll see if it will crawl up to the top and maybe wave to the camera Let's see if we can get her to go up. Should I turn the paintbrush over? Yeah, when she, when she goes up. She wants to go she down. To go down. So let's see if we can get her to go up. Come on, let's go up. There we go. That's super awesome. Let's see if she'll wave to the camera. Wave to the camera. Right. Okay, good. Okay. Now flip the brush over. 
And she'll go back up to the top if with a little bit of motivation, yeah. Oops, I'm gonna switch hands. Go up to the top. These are wonderful spiders. They use a lot of, they use their front legs for feeling and for smell. I think we can go into business together. Yeah. <laughs> You make the, the so pet light. store this circuit. Is, I think the, well, of course, she is the you know, mm -hmm. smallest. But, yeah. She's fun because she's real mobile. And I'll show you one other thing she does. I'm going to flatten out my hands. She lives underneath the bark of trees. You get an idea of what they look like underneath the bark of a tree. And then by tapping it, they'll crawl away. <laughs> 